for math today, we are going to be doing lesson 116. So you are going to need your math 116. If you look at the corner, 116. Um, and of course, you're going to be doing your word, your problem of the day, and your timed twos. We got to practice our times twos, and you can still be working on your times fives as well. And what you're going to need for this lesson, you are going to need a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. Okay? So go grab all that stuff and then put me on pause before you do that. And then when you have everything, go ahead and push play. Also, we're going to be watching a brain pop on making equal groups, which is what we are going to do today. I know we've already started making equal groups when we started multiplication, but we're going to go over it today, and especially when we do our papers. So go ahead and pay attention to this brain pop. Marbles 
than three people. So, how many marbles does each person get? Right, each person gets five marbles. We can write a division sentence to show what happened. We started with 15 marbles and divided them into three groups. So there are five marbles in each group. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. This is the division symbol, and it tells you to divide. When you write a division number sentence, start with the big number first. You can also write it in a different way. The bigger number goes inside the little house. Cool! More people want to play marbles. We still have the same 15 marbles, but now we need to share them with 5 people. How many marbles will each person get? Right, Moby. Each person gets 3 marbles. So that means 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Hmm, I see a pattern. These division sentences use the same numbers, so they're in the same fact family. I know that 5 times 3 is equal to 15. We can make a number triangle to see how multiplication and division facts are related. That's a ton of marbles, Moby. Be careful not to... Okay, so for number one here, we're going to pretend that we have five cars, okay? And with those five cars, we are going to figure out how many wheels we are going to have total. So we don't have to draw five specific cars, but what we're going to do to represent cars is I'm going to draw squares or rectangles. So one, two, three, four... Five. I know they look a little wonky. So those are my five cars. Well, we know how many wheels does a car have. Well, we know that cars have four wheels. So we are going to add all four wheels on each car. Okay, so it says blank groups of blank wheels. So how many groups are there? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five groups. And how many wheels does each group have? Four wheels. So five groups of four. So let's count. We can do it. We can count by fours. Or we know our fives. So five times four is 20 wheels. And we can check our work. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So now we're going to just change this to a multiplication. So 5 times 4 wheels equals 20 wheels. Okay. So now we are going to draw shirts with buttons. Now we're not going to get too fancy because we're going to be doing this together. So we have, we are going to have three shirts. One, two, three shirts. We're just going to represent them as rectangles today. All right, so each shirt has five buttons. Okay, so let's draw the buttons. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so how many groups are there? One, two, three. So we have three groups of 
one, two, three, four, five buttons, and we know three times five is 15. So three groups of five buttons equals 15 buttons. Okay. Now, for number three, number three, I'm going to tell you a story. And you are going to see if you can do this. I'm going to do it with you, and then four you'll do on your own. Okay. So there were six plates, and each plate had three heart cookies on it. Okay, so let's count. Each, there was six plates with three heart cookies on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If I am going too fast, please put it on pause. Okay, so let's figure out the bottom. How many groups are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups. How many hearts are there on each plate? Three. So six times three is not one that we know off the top of our head like we knew the fives up here. So we can count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So there are 18 hearts. So 6 times 3 equals 18. Okay, here we are going to draw 8 bicycles. So 8 bikes. And we want to know how many wheels that we're going to have. So Go ahead and draw your eight bikes. I'm just going to draw this. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Let's see if I can put a small one in here. So we want to figure out how many wheels we're going to have. So how many groups of wheels are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight groups of how many wheels does each bike have? Two wheels is two times eight is, we know that is 16. So eight times two equals 16 wheels. All right, let's turn to number five. All right, for number five here, it says blank groups of blank crackers is blank crackers. So there are children. Each child gets two crackers. There are four children four children. You don't have to write this. And each child gets two crackers. So I want you to go ahead and represent. You can draw plates. You can draw the children. I want you to try this one on your own. So go ahead and press pause. Try this on your own. And then you can see if your answer matches mine. Okay, so we have the four children. And if you represented this by using plates or whatever, that's totally fine. They each get two crackers. My main thing is that what you wrote here would be the same as uh, mine. So there are four groups because there are four children. Each child has two crackers. Four times two is eight. Okay, for number six, we are going to have papers. So 
Um, there are five papers with two stars on each. Okay, so go ahead and pause this here and see if your answer matches mine when you're finished push play. Five papers, two stars on each. Okay, so how many groups are there? There are five groups times two stars, because we're going to label, equals five times two is ten stars. Very good, guys. All right. Number here, we have three um, boxes of six donuts. Okay, so go ahead and draw your three boxes with six donuts. circles. All right, so there are three groups of six donuts and we can add these all together. 18 donuts. And for the last one, you are going to have seven cookies. And each cookie has five chocolate chips. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So how many groups are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven groups. And each group has one, two, three, four, five. Instead of writing chocolate chips, we're just going to put chips. So 7 times 5, you can count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, but we should know 7 times 5 already from all that practice that we're doing. All right, take a moment. That was a lot of work. Take a moment, get your wiggles out, and go grab a ruler, and we'll start the lesson check or yeah the lesson practice all right let's go ahead and begin up at the top we're going to draw our normal line eight centimeters okay make sure your name is on that let's measure this it is four centimeters all right this one is a little tricky it always tricks the kids um every year that we've had this one it says, Kyle tallied the number of children who wore green. How many children wore green? Well, all these are groups of five except for that one, so let's count 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Twice as many children wore green as yellow. How many children wore yellow? So twice as many means times two. So we have to figure out blank times two, because twice as many children wore green as yellow. So we got to figure out how many children wore yellow. So we know that there's a total of 18 that wore green. We need to do blank times two equals 18. So what times two equals 18? If you said nine, the answer is Correct. Remember this because you're going to have to do this on the other side. Or you could look at it as dividing. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay, it says show 453 on the clock. We know 453 is close to 5 o'clock. So our, our hand is going to be close to 5 o'clock. 
not exactly on the 5 o'clock. And 53, we're going to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. I like just keeping my finger there or my pen mark there and then making the arrow exactly at 53 so I know what I'm doing. This is from your lesson today. Draw three baskets. It looks more like a muffin. There, I'll make it like that. Draw four oranges in each basket. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How many oranges did you draw? Four, eight, twelve. Okay. It says draw a small square to show the right angle in the triangle. Remember, I explained to you how to show if it's a right angle. So we can use another piece of paper if you're still not sure and you can try and fit. Oh, this angle is not right because it goes down here. Let's try this corner. Oh, my paper fits in this corner. So this is a right angle. And then here, this last one doesn't fit as well. So it's just one angle right there. Okay, number five. I have two quarters. I like to write the amount. One dime, three nickels, four pennies. Draw the coins. How much money do I have? All right, we're going to start with the biggest coin. So 25 and 25 is 50. Now I'm going to count by tens. 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So we have 79 cents. All right. All right. So now we are going to use either plus, minus, or multiplication. So 4 blank 2 equals 8. So 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 minus 2 is... 2, but 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, 2 blank 5 equals 7. 2 plus 5 equals 7. So we know that was the easy one because that one was our first one. All right, go ahead and do your math here. 6 minus 2 is 4. 8 minus 7 is 1. That one was easy. We didn't have to borrow. Here, the 7 is bigger than 1, so we're going to have to borrow. This becomes 3. This becomes 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, I want to see all this work on your paper. If I just see answers here and I don't see your work, I'm going to have you redo it. Okay, because that just shows me that you are copying. I want, you, I want to see the work that you're doing on these. 9 plus 1 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 6, 7, 8, and here is a plus again, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12 again, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, we need to add the decimal, and since this is money, we put the money sign, okay, go ahead and do the other side for homework on your own. Remember, go back and check the other side if you have questions on that one. And you can use a corner of a piece of paper to check your answer on that one. And let me know if you guys have any questions.